Um, I thought I'd just do a short video of some cards I had purchased in the past and I finally got back from PSA. Actually, I've had them for a while, I just hadn't had a chance to do a video. Um, they are of the 1999 Topps Tech France, Frank Thomas cards. Um, they have different patterns on them. Actually, there were two versions per player and each player had 30 different backgrounds. Um, I thought they'd grade better than what I see on some of these. I haven't gone through them all yet, but I thought I'd share them. I just thought they were neat. I always like the high-tech um, cards that are see-through, and I didn't realize that actually they've been around for quite a while. Uh, they kind of remind me of animation cells, and that's kind of why I, I think I'm drawn to them. They're basically the same photo. There's two variations of the photo, um, and then the backgrounds are different. So I'll just show these quick. Um, unfortunately, I, I guess I didn't look too well. Some have scratched surfaces maybe or something because all had pretty good corners, I think. So I'll just show these quickly. Uh, this one got a nine. And there's a lot of these, as you can see in the background. There's another variation. Unfortunately, got a seven. I'm not sure if, like I said, I think it's just maybe some surface wear that I didn't notice. Um, I was better fan of Frank Thomas. Actually, I have some paintings that I want to get signed by him at some time. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It's like a stamp in the background. That one got a nine. I think I should have written on it, don't grade if below a seven, I mean nine, but I forgot to. This has the number on it. There's another nine. I mean, on the newer versions, you're pretty much guaranteed a 10. They all seem to come out 10 on new high-tech cards. Excuse me for my growling stomach. I just woke up. <laughs> There's another nine. I just, uh, these are really cool. I have like a rainbow on every single one of them. I just happened to come across someone selling all of them. Uh, there's only... I think I'm only missing two uh, in each one, or possibly one or two on each uh, of the numbered cards. And of course, they're harder to find. I haven't come across them yet. That's a cool background. Got a nine. There's an eight. Another eight. This is the different design. Uh, photo, sorry. I just these are randomly put together. They weren't put back in the correct order. And there's a ten. That one's really cool. I mostly got these sleeved because, well, encased, I should say, um, to protect them from any more scratches or anything. I didn't realize, as I said, that some of these weren't the best. I kind of just put them all in sleeves and sent them out to be graded. Sorry if I'm going too fast, I just don't want to bore you with the same card over and over again. But I like to share some cards that maybe people didn't know about. Uh, like I said, I didn't realize that they made high tech way far back into 1999, although it was just called tech back then, I believe. There's another eight. That's, I think it's really cool how they do all the different backgrounds. They do variations now, but I don't think there are nearly as many as 30 per per uh, card. I mean, it would just be insane to to have a complete set of all these cards. There's an eight. Another eight. Another one. I mean, I guess eight's not too bad for a 1999 card, but being that they're plastic, I think they would last longer. There's an unfortunate seven. But like I said, I mean, there's no damage on these cards. Well, here's what the back looks like. Has the number there. As you can see, it's 39B, and then there's 30 versions. So that, that's the number for them. But at least I have them. 
and don't have to go looking everywhere. I occasionally look for the few I'm missing. There's another nine. Another nine. Another one. So I guess I didn't do too bad. Looks like most of them are lowest I got is a seven, which is uh, still kind of crappy. And I am taking a short break for five days just to relax. I've been painting since January and need a well deserved vacation and then I will be right back to painting um, I've already finished gallery as I mentioned uh, I'm currently working on some Star Trek art uh, some artwork for magazine covers and then I have a ton of commissions I'm working on there's 10 that's not bad I really thought these were all going to at least get no lower than a nine but then again, I mean, that one's really cool. All the bats in the background. Some of these are priced really high. One of the other ones, obviously, is Ken Griffey Jr. It's a nice 10. And I said the all backs are pretty much Kind of the same design, short info for the one year. These would have been awesome, I think extremely expensive, obviously, if it was the year of the rookie for Frank Thomas, but they weren't. There's another eight. If I can find them cheap enough, I might try to find replacements for some of the lower numbers. It's so hard to see online, though. You never know on eBay. It's kind of a hit and miss sometimes. I've had some really bad cards sent to me recently um, that people just didn't bother putting in a case or anything. Uh, here's kind of a cool no another nine. There's a ton of these cards. There's another eight. Another eight. This is another cool design. Um, here's another ten. Another one. And another eight. You can come in, Jordan. Uh, my son just got up. There's an eight. Another nine. It's another nice one. Another Got to be here all day. Thank God there's no more than 30 per player. Uh, here's <laughs> another eight. Another one. Another one, as DJ Khaled says. And uh, here's another eight. Yeah. Cool design. Another eight. Another one. I'm going to run out of room in my house soon to keep storing all these cards. There's another nine with the little stamp AV MVP. Uh, there's another nine. Another one. I like this one. This one's a cool design. And another really cool one. That's a ten. Actually, let's finish on the ten. Here, there's a nine with the uh, little man baseball player logo in the background. And here's the last one, it is a 10. Uh, so really didn't get many 10s, the lowest I got was sevens unfortunately, and I'll try to find better versions. But like I said, I've been getting, trying to order some of my older gallery cards. Well, it's not real that old, a few years. And recently the last one I got, someone literally just threw it in a penny sleeve and threw it in a standard envelope and uh, obviously it didn't make it through. So I end up with bent corners. So even though it was like a dollar or two, I still asked for refunds just on the premise. I actually left a message that you need to, uh, you can't just throw cards in a envelope and expect them to arrive safely. I guess some people just don't care much uh, about cards as I do. All right, 
Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.